Hey, I'm Matt, and this is how I turned that useless window into a convenient storage spot for anything you seem to need in the middle of the night while car camping, like your phone, your keys, or a flashlight. Like the bed I'm on, it's easy to install. I didn't have to make any permanent changes to the car, and I'm gonna show you how I made it right now. To make the main wood panel, I roughly traced the window, cut that out, then from the inside, slotted it behind the plastic paneling of the car. Traced that, cut it out, then traced it onto my thin piece of plywood. You can use any thin, hard material you want for this. I cut it the best I could with my circular saw, then sanded it to be the exact shape I needed. It fit into place pretty well, so I started making the tabs that hold the wood in place out of cheap Tupperware containers. Two of the three tabs are stationary, so I attached them to the board with the world's tiniest screws that, of course, I found on Amazon. This Tupperware material is great because it's thin enough to fit behind the plastic paneling, and it's flexible so it won't crack under pressure. After that, I started working on the locking mechanism. To get it to slide back and forth, I first made a slot in the wood by drilling four holes in a line, then wiggling my drill around like a total amateur. Once that was sanded smooth, I was about ready to assemble the lock, which is made of one larger clear plastic circle, one smaller plastic circle that I spray painted black to keep light from shining through the slot when you're stealth camping, and a plastic nut, bolt, and washer that I bought from Amazon. Before piecing all that together, I sanded down the head of the plastic bolt so that when I install it, the plastic tab is close enough to the window glass that it can still slide behind the plastic paneling of the car and lock into place. Finally, I sandwiched it all together and the base was done. From that point, you can add hooks or Velcro or drill whatever holes you want to to attach things to this because you have a solid surface that is not actually part of your vehicle that you can alter all you want. But I like to make things hard on myself, so I started designing and fabricating a custom pouch that is going to fit this particular window perfectly and just look really nice. It's made of a mesh fabric with an elastic edging, and the whole thing is attached to the board using an elastic cord. So it's really stretchy and you can cram a ton of stuff into it. I started by drawing the outline of the pouch, then marked where the holes would go that I'll use to attach the pouch to the board. I taped the template onto the board and used it as a guide to drill the holes and two slots that'll feed the elastic edging through. After drilling, I cut out the template and used it to measure my elastic edging. I fed the top piece of elastic through the edging slots and pulled it tight. Then I marked where it passed through those slots. I'm doing this so when I sew it all together, the top of the pouch is tight against the wood and not droopy. Next, I used fabric chalk to transfer the template over to my mesh fabric and cut that out. Then, I sandwiched the edge of the mesh between the elastic edging, clipped it into place, and used a stretchy zigzag stitch all the way around to allow the elastic to remain stretchy. To finish off the pouch, I clipped both ends of the top edging in place, then the middle, then stretched and clipped until it seemed right, and sewed that on, making sure to keep tension on the elastic as I fed it through. I placed the pocket on the board and screwed either side of the top elastic piece to the back of the board. Then, I threaded the elastic cord through my pre-drilled holes to fix the pocket to the board. And with that, I have a pretty strong, kinda cute little storage solution that solves the, oh man, I have to pee in the middle of the night, where's my flashlight problem, I'm sure we've all had. 
If you've watched all the way through and you want to make this, but you're thinking, I have no idea how to sew, you should check out this channel called Talk Customs. I've learned a lot about sewing from him. And if you're just looking for other camper van build ideas, you should check out a channel called Solid Woodworks. He's always coming up with really great ways to utilize a minimal amount of space inside of a vehicle. And last but not least, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and a like. Those are the same. And subscribe, uh, and I'll keep making more content like this. Thanks.